One reinventing house down, four more to see before we learn which of them will be added to the shortlist for House of the Year 2021. So how should we be building country houses these days? Damien Burroughs is in Devon, where our next longlister offers a blueprint. As you approach the Devon Passive House, you might think you really are entering the grounds of a great country estate. But all is not as it seems. Behind the grand brick facade lies a modest, ultra-efficient eco-home. Plain speaking, dark and simple on the outside, elegant and rich in natural materials within. It's deceptively large, too, with a secret basement housing a media room and plant room. The rest of the house all flows off a central atrium. There's an open-plan living, dining and cooking space, a library and four bedrooms. It's home to two retired software engineers, Nigel and Eileen. Hey. Nigel, Eileen, how are you doing? Good, thanks, Good, Damien. Thanks. How are you? Beautiful to approach. It's beautifully subtle. The site they built on was once in the gardens of a nearby grand country house. It was the humblest part, the kitchen garden accessed by staff. Nigel and Eileen have built their own modest version of it here, beside the original brick garden walls. The idea was that the bricks related to each other, the old and the new, but the new didn't slavishly copy the old, but it looked familiar and it looks like the same red Devon clay that made the bricks. The RIBA judges praised Devon Passive House for respecting the history of the setting, while hinting through details like the large bay window that there's something new and different inside. They loved the brick garden path that invites you into an intimate covered courtyard. The traditional country house advertised the wealth and status of its owners. This modest reinvention celebrates the connection to nature. Clay rendered walls and reclaimed terracotta tiles underfoot give it an honest simple beauty. Mm. I think we've always loved uh, ceramic sculpture, ceramic um, pottery of all sorts. It's eco through and through this place. It was built as a passive house, a highly insulated, airtight building that requires minimal energy to keep warm. Which meant Nigel and Eileen had to pay careful attention to anywhere heat might escape like the doors, windows, or the striking 20 meter square roof light. That's not just standard glazing. No, that's triple glazed. Triple glazed? Yeah, all glass in the house has to be triple glazed. And so that was probably the hardest of the things to find. There aren't many people who make triple glazed roof lights that size. That challenge fell to Nigel and Eileen's contractor, Richard Goulden. But the house passed with flying colours. Add the solar panels on the roof, and this building generates 40% more power than it uses. This is a highly engineered energy positive home. But it's got its glamorous side too. There's a secret subterranean TV room. An exquisite oak clad library and an airy, open-plan living space that flows into a lavish kitchen. This kitchen island is fantastic. There are dazzling mirrored surfaces and handcrafted oak joinery too. This isn't a dominant house, but it is a bold one. 
the 21st century blueprint on what a house in the country should be. Super energy efficient, quietly and serenely luxurious, most important of all, completely in harmony with its setting.